Welcome back to English 4.0, the radio show. Let's go! Intermediate. Welcome back. Welcome, intermediate students, to class 18. And we're going to start by reviewing the verb to tell. So, to tell, you, we tell someone something. Almost always. To tell someone something. I told him my name. I told him the answer. I told him what I thought. I told my mother the news. But we also have some special cases like to tell a lie. Contar una mentira. To tell the truth. Contar la verdad. To tell a story. Contar una historia. To tell a joke. Contar un chiste. To tell time. Saber decir la hora de un reloj. To tell the time. Or to tell the future. Decir el futuro. But typically, we, we tell someone something. Did I tell you the exciting news yesterday? Did I tell you the exciting news? Did I? I because the exciting news that I have is that, um, well, for me it's exciting news that I, th I would like to tell you. I will tell you that, well, I can tell you that my, my other radio show, The Verb Circus, is now available on CD. It's available in the Baugan Tienda. So that's my exciting news. I wanted to tell you that. And it's a great CD. The, the classes are very focused. And it's, it's, it's a very, it's a, it, I believe it's well presented. The material is very focused. And each class is a focused lesson. And I wanted to tell you today that it is available for sale. So I am telling you that the CD is available for sale in the Baugan Tienda or online at the baugantienda.com. So, I just told you that. I wanted to tell you that. Did you tell me any important news yesterday? Did you have anything to tell me? Do you tell me things every day? My colleagues tell me things every day. Did you tell your mother about the problem? Did you tell your friends anything important lately? Yes, you can say in both of that. Yes, I told my friends a lot of important things. Do you think those fortune tellers, those those fortune tellers, like the palm readers, you know, they read the palm of your hand, do you think they can really tell your future? Can they really do that? Can they really tell your future? I don't think they can. I'm not convinced. So I'm thinking of something now. I'm thinking of something. Can you tell what I'm thinking? Can you tell what I'm thinking? Can you decipher? Can you figure out? Can you determine what I'm thinking? Can you tell what I'm thinking? No? Okay. It's, it's, it's basically impossible. So People who know other people very well, like sometimes husbands can, can tell what their wife is thinking, they th or they think they can, or vice versa. Sometimes my mother says, I know what you're thinking, Kyle, because she knows me very well. She can tell what I'm thinking, and she can tell how I feel. So did I tell you a joke yesterday? Yes, I did. I told you a joke yesterday. Was it a good one? Well, not really. <laughs> would you like me to tell you another joke? Would, yeah? Would you like me to tell you another joke? All right, I'm, I'm going to tell you another joke. My joke is as follows. Why is six, the number six, why is six afraid of seven? That's, this is my joke. Why is six afraid of seven? Because seven, eight, nine. Because seven, eight, nine. Yes. All right, all right. Thank you. All right, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes. Okay. Are you better at cycling than Alberto Contador? Are you? No, I'm not better at cycling than Alberto Contador. That's very difficult. Is Lance Armstrong better at cycling than Alberto Contador? I don't know. I don't think so. I think Alberto Contador is better than anyone in the world at cycling. He's Spanish. 
He's Spanish. Yeah, he, he's better. I think he's better than anyone else in the world at cycling right now. Ask me if I'm better at golf than my friend Mike. Kyle, are you better at golf than your friend Mike? Mike. That's right. Mike, who you may know from, uh, he was on Aprende Inglés, on Rumbo al Inglés. Mike, he, he is my golf partner. And uh, so ask me if I'm better at golf than Mike. Kyle, are you better at golf than Mike? I'm I'm going to say that I'm not going to answer this question. I pass. I don't know. I can't I can't comment. We're both improving at the same rate. That's my final answer. <laughs> Ask me if I'm better at ice hockey. Hockey as we call it in Canada. Than my my cousin. Ask me if I'm better at hockey than my cousin. Hockey sobre hielo. Hockey. Are you better at hockey than your cousin? Yes, I am. I'm better at hockey than my cousin. Yes, I am. Ask me if I'm better at baseball than my neighbor. Kyle, are you better at baseball than your neighbor? No, I'm not. I'm not better at baseball than my neighbor. I'm not better at baseball than my cousin either. My cousin was was uh, chosen to to pitch for the... He was invited by the Boston Red Sox to go to their camp to as a, as a pitcher. And he never made the team. He didn't make the team. He didn't qualify to be on the final team. But he, he tried out. He was invited to practice with them as a pitcher. So the guy who throws the ball very, very fast, he tried out. And uh, in the end, he didn't make it. But uh, he's definitely a better baseball player than I am. Or he's better... At baseball, which is our structure, to be better at something than someone else. Or, I'm better at golf now than I was before. I'm better at golf than I was a year ago. I don't know if I'm better at golf than my friend Mike, but I'm better at golf than I was a year ago. That's for sure. Absolutely. Word of the day. All right, yes. Our word of the day today, our word of the day, parientes políticos. Please don't say political parents. No, 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 no. We say in-laws. My in-laws. I don't have, I don't really have any in-laws because I suppose it's just, uh, if, if I were married, my par- my wife's parents and family would be my in-laws. My yeah, my but I I'm not married. I don't I don't I don't have any in laws. I could say my brothers if my brother were married, and his wife I suppose would be she she would be my sister in law. So she would be one of my in laws, and her family they would be we would be in laws. So we're only related because of the the marriage of of another person. So those are the in laws in with a hyphen. A hyphen or a dash, guion, a dash, law, in laws, L-A-W, L like la ley, the law. This is a good word to pronounce. Say it with me. Law, law, law. Lawyers work in law. They study law and they work in the law. The police have to enforce the law, la ley, the law. Law. It's like when you go to the dentist. Ah, uh, ah, uh, law, law, in laws, in this case, in laws. All right. I want to talk about being, well, more, more something than someone, for example. More. Ask me if I'm more intelligent than my neighbor. Ask me if I'm more intelligent than my neighbor. Kyle, are you more intelligent than your neighbor? Well, that's a good question. I, I don't know. I'm not going to comment. I have a lot of neighbors, and I, I've never really questioned their intelligence, so I'm not going to comment. Ask me if this chair is more expensive than my pen. Kyle, is that chair more expensive than your pen? Yes, it is. This chair is more expensive than my pen. Certainly. Is a Rolex more expensive than a Timex? A Rolex. 
Is a Rolex more expensive than a Timex? Ask me, pregúntame, ask me. Ask me if a Rolex is more expensive than a Timex. Kyle, is a Rolex more expensive than a Timex? Yes, it is. Yes, a Rolex is more expensive than a Timex. Ask me if a Porsche is faster than a Ford. A- ask me if a Porsche is more expen- is sorry, is faster than a Ford. Kyle, is a Porsche faster than a Ford? Is a Porsche faster than a Ford? Yes, a Porsche is faster than a Ford. Ask me if my brother is more intelligent than most people. Kyle, is your brother more intelligent than most people? Yes, my brother is more intelligent than most people. It, he is, I will say that. He's more intelligent than most people. Ask me if Canada is greener than Spain. Más verde, if it's greener than Spain. Ask me. Kyle. Hey, Kyle. Is Canada greener than Spain? Ask me again. Kyle, is Canada greener than Spain? It's a short adjective, so we we, we use the ER ending, greener. Is it greener than Spain? Yes, Canada is, is certainly greener than Spain. Spain is drier than Canada. Spain, uh, Canada is greener than Spain. Is Spain more developed than Bangladesh? Is it? Yes, Spain is more developed. Give me a long answer. An- answer my question. Make sure you're always answering at home, following along, participating. Right? No pain, no gain here, listeners. You have to make the effort. So, is Spain more developed than Bangladesh? Is Spain, I can, I can link those words, is Spain more developed than Bangladesh? Yes, it is. Yes, Spain is more developed than Bangladesh. Of course. Ask me if food in Canada is more expensive than food in Spain. Kyle, is food in Canada more expensive than food in Spain? No, no, it's not. Food in Canada is... I'm thinking pr- probably a little bit cheaper than food in Spain. Yes, yeah, certainly restaurants. It's cheaper to eat in a restaurant in Canada than it is in Spain, especially when you consider the exchange rate with the euro. Mm-hmm. Ask me if clothes in Canada are more expensive than in Spain. Kyle, are clothes in Canada more expensive than in Spain? No, they aren't. They're cheaper. Clothes in Canada are much cheaper than clothes in Spain. I can buy a pair of uh, pants, a pair of Levi's, for example, jeans, let's say. I can buy a pair of jeans in Canada for less than half the cost of what of what they cost here in Spain. Ask me if my neighbor is louder than I am. Kyle, is your neighbor louder than you are? Yes, he is. Is Chinese more difficult than Spanish? Yes, Chinese is more difficult than, 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 than with an N. Okay, that's the point. Chinese is more difficult than Spanish. Unless you were born in China, and then it would be easier. Let's move on. Vocabulary of the day. Frequente. Our first word of the day. Vocabulary. That's right. Frequente. Frequent. Frequent. I hope you are a frequent listener to this show. Gesto. Detalle. Gesture. Gesture. Chur. Notice the T-U. Chur. Gesture. Responsable de. In charge of, in charge of. No decimos responsable, responsible of, or, or or the responsible of. Oof, I get a headache. I get a headache when I hear someone say the responsible of. Oof, it bothers me. Please, don't give me a headache. Please don't say that. In English, la palabra responsible is only used as an adjective. He is a responsible person. He is a responsible driver. He's a very responsible person. Okay? 
so it's only used this in the in a, in a moral sense. He's a responsible driver. Or we can say he is responsible for something. I am responsible for for cleaning my 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 clothes. I'm responsible for doing my own laundry. Nobody's going to do it for me. It's my responsibility. I do it because it's my responsibility. I am responsible for it. But in charge of who's in charge of marketing? El responsable de marketing. Who is who is in charge of? Who is in charge of marketing? Los Juegos Olímpicos. The Olympic Games. The Olympic Games. Tonterías. Nonsense. Oh, that's a bunch of nonsense. Please. Let's get realistic here. That's a bunch of nonsense. All right, let's move on now. This is a nice structure. Cada vez más, cada vez menos. And then something infinitive. So, well, what I mean, something. I shouldn't say something infinitive, but plus infinitive. So, it's it's easier and easier. In English, we say it's easier and easier to infinitive. Okay? <laughs> I say cada vez más infinitive. Well, giving you everything in English here, explaining it all in English, it's easier and easier to find material to study English. It's easier and easier because there's there's Vaughn Radio. There's, there's Aprende Inglés TV. There's a lot of material, a lot of content available. It's easier and easier. It's getting easier and easier. It's becoming easier and easier to find material to study English. The opposite is harder and harder. It's harder and harder to to uh, to make a living, maybe as a fisherman. It's probably getting harder and harder to make a living as a fisherman. Ganar la, la vida as a fisherman. It's getting more and more difficult to again infinitive. So, is it getting harder and harder, or easier and easier to communicate with people around the world? It's getting easier and easier to communicate with people around the world. Thanks to the internet. Is it getting easier and easier or harder and harder to learn languages? It's getting... So answer me. It's getting easier and easier to learn languages. Is it getting easier and easier or harder and harder to meet foreign people? It's getting e easier. It's getting easier and easier to meet foreign people. Is it getting easier and easier or harder and harder to find foreign foods in the supermarket? It's getting easier and easier to find foreign foods in the supermarket. Is it getting easier and easier or harder and harder to find a place that's not polluted? It's getting harder and harder to find a place that's not polluted. Is it getting easier and easier or harder and harder to find a menu of the day, menu del día, a menu of the day for less than nine euros? It's getting harder and harder to find a menu of the day for less than nine euros. It's getting harder and harder to see donkeys in villages these days. It's getting harder and harder to imagine life without the internet. It's getting easier and easier to find cheap flights. It's getting easier and easier to find original version movies in Spain. Sure. It's getting harder and harder for polar bears to find food. Okay. We're running out of time. It's getting harder and harder for me to keep keep talking about this structure because we're completely out of time. And uh, our studio technicians are telling me, Kyle, you have to stop. We're completely out of time. So I'm going to finish. But thank you so much. Keep listening. Take advantage of it. Listen to the advanced class. I'm going to finish. My name is Kyle. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>